You guys are gonna love these 10 home hacks I found on TikTok. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I wanna to share with you some of my favorite home specific hacks that I've learned from TikTok, including what you can do with old toilet paper rolls to make your curtains look fabulous. I used to not be able to stand TikTok when it first came out. I'm obviously not a dancer and there were so many Gen Zs on there. But more recently, there have been more people coming on there like me who are, you know, elder millennials who love home decor, DIY, cooking tips, home hacks. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, I'm the DIY mommy on there. And I share a lot of things in really short 15 second clips that I think you'll enjoy. After you've watched this video, let me know which of these 10 home hacks I'm sharing today is your favorite and let's get started. This first one is a hack to make your curtains look a little more even and full after they're hung up. Here are our current drapes in our living room. They look a little disheveled and more relaxed looking, so let's see if we can use this hack to make them look fuller. These are hidden tab drape curtains, but I have seen this done on TikTok with the grommet style curtains. So what you do for this one is you take toilet paper rolls. I've seen this done where they cut the toilet paper rolls in half, but I want my distance between my tabs to be a little bit shorter, so I'm going to cut these into thirds. Make sure to check the description box below. I'm gonna make sure to leave all of the original TikTok videos that I found these ideas from. Make sure to go give some love to the original creators of these ideas. So I cut all of these toilet paper rolls into three sections. I have uh, nine of these per curtain panel for mine. Now I'm putting one tab of my drapes through the curtain rod, and then I'm adding a little piece of the toilet paper roll, then the next tab, and then another piece of toilet paper roll, and so on and so forth until I use all of the pieces of rolls in between the tabs of my curtain. This is going to make each piece more even in between the tabs, plus it's gonna add a little bit of fullness behind my drapes. So I've done it to the left panel as well as the right panel, and here the curtains look hanging up. I do need to give these a little bit of a steam or an iron, but you can see the difference here between the left window, which doesn't have the toilet paper rolls inserted, and the right one. It definitely looks a lot more full, and it gives it a little bit more of an elegant look. This next hack is for floral arranging. It is so easy. You take a vase, fill it with water, and then take some scotch tape, or in my case, if your six-year-old daughter used up all the scotch tape for crafts, you can cut some packing tape into thirds, and you can just place it in a grid pattern over top of the vase. I did three pieces of tape horizontally and two vertically. Now you can cut your flowers down to size and place them in the holes that are created in the tape grid. And what this does is it helps keep nice space in between your flowers, just a really easy way to keep everything looking even. I did have to play with my flowers a little bit to get them to the look that I liked. My peonies, however, these are from my garden, are quite large in size. If you were using smaller flowers, this would be an even more helpful floral arrangement home hack. Here is how my vase turned out with that easy tape grid arrangement. I gotta say, I love this time of year when the peonies are in bloom in the garden. Only lasts a couple weeks, but it is absolutely magical. This next hack I've actually been using for a little while now. I think I've seen it originally on the Martha Stewart blog, but I saw it again on TikTok and I've never shown it to you guys before, so I thought it'd be definitely worth sharing. You take a pillowcase and you place it over your fan blade just like this, and then you use it to dust your fan blade and all of the dust from the blade falls into the pillowcase. This is especially useful for a fan like this one. We have this one over top of our bed in our master bedroom, so I don't want any dust falling on even the mattress in the bedroom. Then after I'm finished cleaning the whole fan, I could just toss that pillowcase in the laundry and that is that. It's a really simple and straightforward way to clean my fan without having all of that dust fall all over our bedroom. Thank you. 
The next home hack is if you have a candle like this that is all sunken and tunneled in the middle, here's how you can make it look a little more even on top. Take some aluminum foil and cut it into a rectangle. Make sure that it wraps all the way around your candle and then you can fold it in two sections like I'm doing here. Then wrap it around the top of your candle just like this. Secure it from end to end and then gently fold the top over so you're creating a little bit of a oven almost. The heat is kind of gonna be trapped on the sides of the candle here and that's gonna help melt those sides down so you have more of an even burn to your candle after. Now I did have to leave this burning for quite a long time, probably about three to four hours. It took a little longer than I thought it would. After a couple hours, I did notice that the sides of my candle were coming down nicely. However, I did use my hand very, very carefully to push down the edges even more. And then later I used a knife to push them down further. This worked pretty well. I think if I used a candle in a jar, it would have worked even better. However, on this pillar candle, it did work pretty well and my candle now looks a lot more even on top and it burns a lot better. Okay, this next hack is so fun. Download this app on your phone. It's called Bubble Level. I believe they have it for Android and iPhone and you have a little level right on your phone. So you can use this in situations where you're DIYing and need to make sure what you're DIYing is nice and straight, or use this in a situation where you have to hang up a piece of art or a mirror or a photo and you wanna make sure it's nice and level. You just open up the app on your phone, place it on top of the object that you want nice and level, and just make sure that bubble is right in the middle and your object is going to be level. I love this trick. Here's the next home hack. This is disgusting, our microwave. Oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed to show this. So to get these nice and clean, take a measuring cup full of water, add a little squirt of dish soap, put that inside of your microwave and make sure you put that microwave on for about two minutes. You're gonna get that water in the measuring cup nice and hot and steamy. The trick here that I learned on TikTok is once it's finished, don't open it yet. Leave it in there for another minute so the steam can continue to loosen up all of that grease and grime off of the inside of your microwave. Then you can take a paper towel or a cloth and all of that grease and grime should be able just to wipe right off. It did work really well for mine. I was able to get most of the grease off of the microwave, certainly much easier than if I didn't use the steaming technique. Here's another hack that I love. So you're boiling pasta, and usually what you do is take a colander and you put it right into the sink and pour the pasta in, water goes everywhere, but how about put it right inside the pot just like this? If you have one that fits, this is a great way to do it. And then you can drain the water out this way. I thought this was so cool when I saw it, and I've been using it ever since I saw it on TikTok. A lot easier, and it works really well. Want to make your toilet paper look ultra fancy and luxe as you display it in your bathroom? You can fold the sides like this. So I fold these two sides in at an angle and then you can fold the top down. It's almost like you're making a little present. Next, run your water just for one second and then place the toilet paper under the faucet and it's gonna create this little stamp. It almost looks like a wax seal. That's gonna dry and then you can display your toilet paper nicely on a shelf in your bathroom for your guests to grab. If you currently fold your towels like this, I promise you there is a better way that looks so good. Take your towel, fold it horizontally once, and then fold it again, but don't put the end right up to the fold. Then you fold it into thirds and you have this lovely little package that looks good on its own, or it also looks good stacked with other towels. My mom taught me to fold towels like this when I was young and I have never forgotten. This has to be my favorite home hack from TikTok that I found. So I love to recycle bottles. Often they'll have a really sticky residue. Grab some eucalyptus essential oil, put that on a cotton swab, and then you can rub that cotton ball all over the sticky residue on your bottle. 
and instantly it's going to take it right off. I was absolutely amazed when I did this. Immediately the residue was coming right off the bottle. Then after you remove everything with a eucalyptus essential oil, you can wash your bottle or your jar just as you normally would. I just use some dish soap and I put it in the sink and then you can wipe it dry and your bottle is going to be perfect. I'm definitely using this one over and over again. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these 10 home hacks I learned from TikTok. Let me know down in those comments below which of these was your favorite or if you have any very interesting home hacks that you use that you'd love to share with all of us. I would love to hear down in those comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor ideas on a budget. And I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy next right up here.